Hi everyone, today I'm going to be looking at the new design token features that we have been working on. Uh, first is references or token referencing and over here I have a small UI and uh, I also have a token, in a, a spacing token called base uh, which has a value of 18 and I'm quickly going to create another token which I'm going to call it density compact and I'm going to reference the base token and now I can see the value of the base token which is 18 and I'm also going to multiply it by 0 0.75 and the math is also working so let me create just one more token and call it density.default and again referencing base and giving it a multiplier of 1 so now I have um, two tokens which are referencing another token base and uh, if I change the value of base to let's say 16 that is also going to reflect on my density compact and my density default tokens. Okay now let's apply some of these tokens. Um, so I want to make this a little more dense um, so I'm going to apply the column gap on this layout and there we have uh, the column gap change to uh, 16 oh uh, no that was 13 and then now I'm going to apply the row gap over here and there we have uh, the row gap of 12 and maybe on the left hand side also I'm going to apply this as the row gap and here as well and the row gap so now I have a UI which is much more dense and um, similarly I can change the value of base and that will change the value of my corresponding tokens so now we have math and references in penpot and also we have this button over here down here which says export JSON so I'm going to export JSON, opening it up, and if I open it, the JSON, I can see that I have all my tokens which I have created, the base, density compact, density default, and they are already uh, compatible with the DTCG format, having the dollar value and dollar type in the, in the format. So yeah, so we have math references and export tokens.